Now, he tried his hand at becoming a tennis pro, but when his backhand wasn't hitting hard enough, Elliot Loney thought he'd take a swing at comedy instead. Now, one of our favourite funny men is taking aim at some of tennis's greatest stars. My name's Nick Kyrgios, bro, and I'm going to teach you how to play tennis with Nick Kyrgios, bro. All right, bro, there's three steps you need to learn how to play tennis, bro. So first thing you have to do is exude your personality. So, first thing you need to do on this surf is take as much time as possible. I like to take anywhere between 40 seconds to three days. Uh, uh, the best advice I could give you is just to be good. Um, I think I've misplaced my work ethic on the court. Uh, what a lot of people don't know is I am always sharing the court with someone else and that person is my ego. It's gonna be unbelievable. Oh, yeah. And Elliot Loney is here with us now. A very good morning to you, Elliot. Hey, guys, how are you? Thanks for having me. I'm yeah. going to say, from, from tennis player to impersonator, I mean, it's not exactly an obvious transition, is it? No. Uh, well, the transition from comedian to player was actually... Well, player to comedian, rather, was seamless, but the transition from player to comedian has proven to be quite difficult. So, so how did you go from playing to, to, to knowing that you were really good at impersonating? Um, probably right around the time I realised I was an only child and then uh, sort of progressed from there. I had no choice but to talk to myself and uh, that's how the impressions kind of came oh, to be. Oh, so. that's very sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is actually. Well, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of great yeah. comedy is born out of sadness. That's yeah. right. And here we have another case. That, yeah. That's right. Yeah. You know what? Carl will give you a hug after, after the segment. Okay? Oh, I appreciate that. feel a bit better. I'll, I'll but um, yeah. where she's getting word, I believe Rafael Nadal is oh, here. Hang on a second. Yeah. Can we bring him in? Yeah, we'll, we'll grab him. Yeah, that would He's be good. Here. He's is here. Rafa here? Uh, well, yeah, it was just, uh, Rafa is on, making his way up the stairs. Yeah, well, this is breaking right news, now. ladies and gentlemen. And it uh, looks, um, well, he's got a very, very, very short oh. pair, of, pair of shorts on. Oh, and he's uh, here. He's oh. here. He's on the desk. Ah, oh, hola. <laughs> Hello, Carl. Hello, Alison. Thank you very much for having me on the Saturday show. I'm very happy to be here. Um, Raph Hello, peasants. How are you? Peasants. <laughs> hey, that's not on Riddles Creek Tennis Club. Um, you've got to be nice to the punters. How, how's your preparation? How's everything going? Well, obviously, I'm an unbelievable player. Been hitting my forehand incredible, my backhand incredible, and I'm looking forward to 2020 victory at Oz Open. No problem for me. You have a lot. There's a lot of idiosyncrasies uh, in your play. Um, and, and we love you. We love you, Rafa. Um, there's a lot of stuff that goes into you just serving. Um, there's a lot of work. Yeah, well, for me, you know, obviously big wedgie. So helps <laughs> with the power because always picking my wedgie. So helps me hit very big serves. So for me, always, always wedgie, always big power. <laughs> um, taking on Nick Kyrgios this tournament. I mean, who's going to reign supreme, do you think? Well, I'm going to chop Nick, no problem. Rafa victory, 100%. Very, very, very confident. Um, uh, we're just, we're actually just hearing um, that Nick Kyrgios uh, is not happy with those comments and is making his way to the central commentary oh. position. How bad is this? <laughs> A commentary <laughs> position. I love it. Oh, g'day, Nick. Oh, that's so quick. Oh, what'd you say, bro? What's up? Bro, like, honestly, bro, like, I don't even know what I'm doing here, bro. Like, what's this death made out of, bro? Like, seriously, bro, like, who are these people, bro? Like, <laughs> What's going on, bro? Like, honestly, bro, like, if I wanted to, like, I could be the best guest you've ever had on the Today Show, bro, but yeah. to be honest, I'm not even trying, bro. Like, I'm not even trying. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, you, yeah, so go on, Ali. So, well, you know who is a good, a big fan of yours, Nick, is um, Jim Courier. Oh, bro. Nah, bro. Yeah. Nah, bro. Do you want, do you want to speak to Jim, bro? Yeah, no. Nah, I'd love to talk to Jim. Oh, Why right, not? Oh, yeah, Jim, bro. <laughs> come over, bro. Yeah. Come on. Hey, hey, bro. Um, <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Ow! What Sorry. did you do that for? That hurts. I was laughing at you. You hit my elbow. You hit my funny bone. I'll get over it. <laughs> okay, so Jim's in. Uh, Jim, Jim, good day to you. Well, let me first start by saying, <laughs> wow. Come on, let's get some enthusiasm in the studio. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. Round of applause for Jim. Yeah. An even bigger round of applause for my ego. Come on, that's right. Come on, let's go. Come on. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sure, why not? Yeah. Look, there's another player too that uh, that I wanted to talk about, and and I've I've been critical in the past about Andy Murray, um, but I wonder if, if Andy Murray um, he, will he be here somewhere warming up, uh, getting himself pumped up. Um, Andy joins us now. He's, he seems to carry the weight of the world on his shoulders. Andy Murray, doesn't he? Uh, Andy, good morning to you. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm elated to be here. Um, yeah, it's been a bit, little bit difficult for me. The last time I saw a seeding of any of any kind was actually on this bun. 
so, yeah, you know, it's been very tough for me. But, uh, you know, let's not forget I've been knighted, which makes me slightly more royal than Prince Harry nowadays. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there's that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah good, good one. Um, there's no bigger tennis fan than another Aussie funny bloke, um, Dave Husey Hughes, a big, uh, big friend of the show, and it's always good to see Husey. Uh, he's, just, um, he's just popped in too. G'day, Husey. <laughs> yeah, what's going on, Carl? It's great to be here, guys. Dave Husey, yeah. Yeah, I love the tennis. There's a guy out there playing on court 14 today called Tennis Sangren, yeah? Born in Tennessee, professional tennis player, and apparently I've just found out his mum's an actual racket. So, yeah, that's outrageous, isn't it? Yeah, a bit of that. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I just hurt my neck. <laughs> you know, well, going back to Elliot, we've got, we've got our own raffer impersonator on the, on the desk, right? Oh. Yeah. So Alex is down here in, in the crowd. Come on. I, I knew you'd do this. I, <laughs> yeah. and I, Come on. There is, there is absolutely no competition. He's so, so very good. He's so very, very good. Yes. Uh, Roger Ferrer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, very, very, very good. Okay. Bravo, bravo, my man. Yeah, yeah. How good is he? So good. Uh, uh, impressive. Uh, anyone else just before we go? I mean, just so we can call upon anyone we oh, want. Anyone look, from around uh, the world. Yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch. Peter Griffin, um, the David Attenborough. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes! Yeah. This here is uh, David Attenborough. <laughs> the Today Show truly is a marvel and it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, he is. Can you do a Carl? Yeah. This rare endangered species of Carl Stefanovic, you can see this alpha male preceding himself on the desk. It truly <laughs> is remarkable to see him in his natural habitat alongside the rare endangered species <laughs> of Alison Langdon. <laughs> it is very. Very good, very good. <laughs> Fantastic stuff.